Friends, what day is the most Christian day in the world? Is it Christmas, when it is said Christ was born? Is it Easter, when it said Christ rose from the dead? <laughs> it might surprise you to learn that Christ played no part in either of those days, as far as physical birth or resurrection from the dead are concerned, because God the Father did both of those things. First, he overshadowed Mary to produce a special body prepared for our Lord. You can read that in Luke chapter 1, verses 31 through 35. And then Hebrews 10, 5, which I'll play for you now. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. It was the Father who brought him back from the dead. And that's First Peter 1, 20 who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him to believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. So those two days do not celebrate the actions of Lord Yeshua, but the actions of God the Father. So what day is more Christian than these? Consider this one day, friends if you will. Remember, Hebrew days start at and end at sunset. So it was before sunset on the day the Jews prepared for Passover, the day when our Lord commanded his disciples to go and prepare a place. Keep in mind here that the Passover cannot be eaten in the presence of leaven because God commanded its removal. That's in Exodus 12:15. And the Jews considered leaving to be symbolic sin, so leavening had to be searched out, and a priest had to inspect all the leaven was removed from the home before the Passover meal could begin. Also remember that leaven was commanded to be already removed on the 14th day, the Passover. But that day was not the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread just the first day that unleavened bread was required. Some texts do not say that it was the first day of, the, of unleavened bread, but they say it was the first day of the feast of unleavened bread. And that is because they got confused about Hebrew days and customs. The feast of unleavened bread starts on the 15th of Nisan and is a high Sabbath. Passover comes the day before that on the 14th of Nisan and that is not a Sabbath. Therefore, the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread cannot start before the 15th. It can't come on the 14th of Nisan. Leviticus 23, 4 and 6 tells us, These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the 14th day of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. And on the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. In the first day ye shall have an holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. So the first day of unleavened bread means the unleavened bread required at the Passover, but not the unleavened bread required of the feast of unleavened bread. Now Mark fourteen twelve tells us, and the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover, his disciples said unto him, Where wilt thou that we go and prepare that thou mayest eat the Passover? Okay. Then sunset came, and the day changed to what? What did the day change to at sunset? Passover. Passover the 14th of Nisan, the day the lambs were killed. But this was the first part of the day. The lambs would not be killed until the next afternoon, which afternoon would still be Passover the 14th. And they went and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. Lord Yeshua joined his disciples. Now please pay careful attention here, my friends, because you are going to notice that Lord Yeshua did not offer the cup before supper as his blood shed for us. No, it was a very specific cup called here the cup after supper. And that cup has a real name. It is named the cup of blessing. 
the same cup Paul offered to the Corinthians at their Passover communion. And that's 1 Corinthians 10, 15, and 16. I speak as to wise men. Judge ye what I say. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Continuing on Passover, early even with Lord Yeshua and the disciples, our Lord raised the cup after supper and declared that cup of blessing in his blood shed for us. And he took unleavened Passover bread and declared that the Passover bread was his body. At that moment, Passover was changed from an animal lamb sacrificed under the law of ordinance to a New Testament Christ commanded annual festival of Passover communion. Luke 22:19 says, And he took bread and gave thanks and brake it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me means keep the communion of my body and blood annually on the day that gives Christian meaning to it, Passover day, because Passover was an annual feast. Do this or this do is a command of our Lord, and Passover has now become a Christian rite under authority of Lord Yeshua. Notice next that Lord Yeshua uses the words New Testament in offering his cup to us. That is the only time in the New Testament that Lord Yeshua said those words. Now, can any doubt that Passover is now changed by those words to a New Testament observance? Luke 22, 15 and 20, 15 through 20. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. 